Mackin. It's clear as the eternal fire. to write his biography. Put his dad in it. Whore son, son of whore son. Great title. I'm all ears. Whore son senior was the most ruthless man I've ever met. Unmatched to blackmail, murder and hustling. Word is, he had a line on the hierarchy himself. Junior inherited all his gaffer's traits at one. His love of poetry. Senior was on his way to an evening recital when Junior killed him. Then he promptly took over all his dear daddy's businesses and contacts. Went to Junior's joint. I heard, I heard. My lads near came to blows wanting to be the first to tell me. <laughs> Made quite an impression on them. I know, all, son. Wherever he is, he's positively furious. Won't be able to control himself. He'll leave whatever hidey hole he found to lay low in. Can't wait. <laughs> Patience, Witcher. And cheer up. Cleaver pays well for a job well done. Promised a reward and here it is. More where that came from. You've been here, you've been there. So tell me, who would have had a more noble grand wind? Interesting basilisk you've got there. Course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania, from eggs laid by cockerels. Cockerel eggs, you say? Yeah, and what cocks they are. 
lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatching by 101 venomous vipers. Then the young basilisk pecks its way out. This basilisk is interesting because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and ill fed at that. You talk nonsense, sir. This here's the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a witcher. All done now. If that's no basilisk, but some weavern, what did I pay for? Give me back my con cheat. Brave soldiers, don't push, or it'll... Whoa, watch out! <laughs> Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one. Including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? This to hone your thinking? No. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not, because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, 
Chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. A king should be severe towards his foes, generous to his friends. Apart from which, I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Eternal flame of the way else it is. Horson Jr. Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't it? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards.
not your lucky day. Degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Nailed it to the wall. Nailed it to the wall. Is this? Junior, I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We've made a deal. 
I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? The girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doodoo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Get a grip, Dandelion. We must focus on the task at hand. I'm just saying. Well then be silent. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doodoo? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you.
That's what happened. Tell you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends, reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape. Again. You may go.
been choked to death on three pounds of steel. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Best beware of the other side of the river. One false move and you could be more than fat. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm, it's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Don't trust Vess anymore. Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, 
when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her, before she attacks, and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. True, you kill King. You and our commander. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. You've been right. here, you've been there. So tell me, best be wary of the other side of the river. It's the village below, black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Well, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the... Death to the black ones! At me, Sirka! Looks like we're too late. Vess, have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and what not exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Melitale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your word. You'll get it back when you wise up, if you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> 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 a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach. Noble of you and all, but occasionally I work for Nilfgaardians. 
Frankly, I don't want any trouble. I don't like this. But so be it. You certainly don't deserve to suffer as a result. Well said, Geralt. A good black one's a dead black one. I'll strangle the bugger. Stand aside. I'll do it. Nen, Trokai. We should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. For the price oh, of two. Onlookers, oh, oh, riders. The venerable bagel buds invite you to the races. Have you long been in the of the speed. Girls near the bagel oh. oh. outside town. I'm in a rut. I've such a hard time finding inspiration. Yes, oh, handsome. Again. Fortune oh. for you. Show me what...
Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? 